Our offering this morning is for Heritage Community Christian School. Uh, this is, I think, our third offering of the year for Heritage. And there is a video for you to watch, and you can see some of the great things that, that have happened over the past year. Yeah, I just want to encourage you to think and prayerfully give Heritage. They carried on and did all kinds of stuff online for, for students and families at home, which they made freely available for, for anyone via the internet to, to use. And they also, uh, they also uh, were busily figuring out how they're going. They are currently busily figuring out how they are going to do the upcoming uh, school year. Now that we have some more information about what that might look like from uh, the education, the Ministry of Education. And so please be in prayer for them. As you know, also their uh, thrift store, Thrifties in Tin Cap, uh, had to be closed for uh, for quite a while uh, due to COVID-19, but now they are reopened and uh, they are following uh, good protocols to keep people safe, but they are uh, they are helping to raise money for the school again, once again, very effectively. And so we are very grateful for that. Uh, there was uh, a significant, and there continues to be a somewhat significant uh, deficit in that um, there are uh, there are teachers who have had to have been laid off. Uh, there is less tuition dollars, of course, coming in. Heritage, though, there has been some very significant good news. Uh, Heritage uh, still needs our help very, very much. So please uh, prayerfully uh, consider as you watch this video and uh, see what God has done and uh, think about what God will do. Before we come before the Lord in congregational prayer, a couple of updates for you, pastoral updates. Um, I think just one really big one, and that is that Miles uh, and his mother Michelle have come home uh, from the hospital, and so that is very good. Uh, please continue to pray for Miles and Michelle. Uh, there are um, there are some medications that Miles will need indefinitely. Please also be praying for our farmers, for uh, not only our farmers, of course, but all the farmers of this area. Uh, we are, we're experiencing a significant uh, shortage in rainfall uh, right at this time. So uh, it would be great if, uh, if you could pray for uh, good rain, uh, good long rain uh, that really soaks the earth as opposed to just uh, passing thunder showers uh, that may, uh, as dramatic and lovely as they are, they uh, don't necessarily do all that the crops need them to do. Now, let us come before the Lord in congregational prayer. Father in heaven, thank you so much for bringing us together today. Thank you so much for Heritage Community Christian School. Lord, we pray that these, our tithes and offerings, would be a pleasing aroma to you, and that you would continue to enable uh, the wonderful folks uh, who are involved in Heritage Community Christian School to carry on uh, the mission of God in not only educating and raising 
uh, our children in the way that they should go, supporting uh, parents and, and families to do that, but also in bringing in and, and teaching uh, kids from outside of our community, uh, outside of those who even necessarily, they may not know uh, you yet, bringing those folks in to, to learn uh, in a good, safe environment and in a way that helps them to come to know you and to live in your way. Lord, we pray that you will be with Jennifer uh, Feenstra and uh, that you will be with the board um, as they continue their very important work. We pray that you will be with the staff. Uh, Lord, all of those staff members, uh, some of whom who have been laid off, some of whom who are uh, able to continue on and do various things for the school. Lord, we pray for all the staff uh, of Heritage. And Lord, we thank you so much for the many volunteers, volunteers who help uh, at the store, volunteers who help at the school. Uh, and uh, Lord, we just pray that you will bless each and every one of them. Most of all, Lord, we pray that you would bless all the families, all the families who send their kids there, all the families uh, whom you are bringing to the school in the fall. Lord, we pray that you will draw each and every family and each and every child uh, closer to you. Lord, may they come closer to you even as they learn more and more about your, uh, your creation, about who you are, and about the wonder of all you have done. Lord, we pray too that you will be with Miles. Lord, we thank you so much that he has been able to come home. We pray that you will bless him, uh, that you will bless his mother, Michelle, that you will guide her uh, in her work, uh, taking care of this little one who has these needs. Lord, we pray too that you will be with all of our farmers, Lord, all those in this area, all the farmers of this area, Lord, the land, uh, the crops, they really need uh, some rain. And you know that, oh God. And time and time again, you have provided. And even, oh Lord, even, oh Lord, when things have been dire, maybe not here, but as we look into the past, Lord, we can see that you, oh God, are good. And you, oh God, our sovereign King. And you, O oh God, have all the power and authority. And so, Lord, no matter what happens, no matter what happens, regardless of rain or, or no rain, of sun or no sun, regardless of the situation of this world, we stand back and we bow our heads and hold up our hands and say, You, O oh Lord, are God. Lord, thank you for who you are. Father, we pray as well that you will continue to be with those among us who are, uh, who are ill, who are suffering from uh, cancer or suffering from any other diseases of the heart, mind, soul, or body. Lord, we pray that you will uh, bless them and strengthen them, uh, care for them. Lord, we pray for our families, Lord. It's been several months that we have been uh, more or less uh, stuck together in our homes, and we thank you for that, for that opportunity to be with our families more intensely. But we pray also for, for compassion and kindness and patience to reign in our homes as well. Hmm. Father, we pray too for uh, the people of Kingston. Lord, as we see the numbers uh, of COVID-19 cases uh, jump in Kingston, Lord, we pray that you will be with uh, the healthcare workers there, that you will be with the testing center there, that you will be with all of those who have been exposed to the virus or potentially exposed to the virus. We pray uh, that you would protect them, that you would guide them all. Lord, may they recover. We pray this, of course, as well for the rest of this world as it undergoes the siege of COVID-19 still. We pray for uh, Brazil and, and countries in Latin America. We pray for the southern United States where things are, uh, are jumping so dramatically. Lord, we pray for all of the countries of this world where, uh, where this virus is, is still uh, rampaging. We pray for scientists and, and doctors as they seek 
um, as they seek to find a, um, a vaccine for this. But we pray also that our faith will not ultimately be in science, uh, though you created science, but that our faith would ultimately be in you. Father, as we come to your word and as we study your word this morning, as we hear from your scriptures and talk about your great power, open up our hearts and minds that we may hear what you would have us hear. We ask this all in Jesus' name. Amen. 